Hello everyone, it's Carol here. I'm in my art dining room today. Used to be my art room, but now it's my art dining room for a few more weeks anyway. Today I want to try a balloon squish, balloon, yeah, balloon squish or balloon smash. Um, I see a lot of YouTubers doing it right now, so I thought I would give it a try. So I've got an 8 by 9 by 12 um, canvas board, and I'm just going to lay down a thin layer of white paint, not very much. I've seen um, artists using no paint down, and I've seen them with paint down. So I don't think you really need much just to give it a base and something in between the smashes to show through, I guess. Anyway, I got my little silicone brush today. This is just my um, house paint mixture. I want it to be a little bit fluidy, but not, not like painting a wall or a not pouring either so just an even coat most of it'll be covered up hopefully as long as this turns out okay all right so that's done put the lid back on Two balloons, one isn't blowing up as much, and one is blowing up a little more. Oh, of course, I forgot to bring in my water. Oh, well, just <clears throat> leave that there. So, I'm gonna use purple. I have Americana Decoir, Americana Dioxin Purple. I mixed it 50-50 with Floetrol. So I have these little paper plates. I'm going to pour some in the paper plate. I have black, Artist Loft Black, and I don't need much. I just want a dri dribble of black. And I also have some... Uh, yellow, I think it's cadmium yellow, or I think it's the uh, Artist Loft yellow. And some Artist Loft turquoise. I'm not sure if I'm going to put white in or not, I'm going to try one first. This will be this will be fun I hope all right let's try the small one first okay so I'm gonna dab my balloon if you can see this straight down push it And I think the more you push on it, the bigger the... Oh! Oh, you might be able to get a couple out of this. And I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna wipe. 
wait every once in a while just to get a new, fresher. So I'll do a few of these around. And then I'll do bigger ones. I'm going to go over this one. Goes my clock again. I'm going to go over this one again. running out of space.
do some that are going off the side. I think I'm not going to do too many more. Again, I use my other balloon. Let's do some small ones. Do you think I should stop? How does it look? Cool, cool, cool. I'm going to go over that one again. Some of them that are looking a little thinner, I'm just going to go over. the yellow. It's going to go into the yellow a little bit more. I don't like this one yet. There. All right, I think I am going to stop. It looks like a bunch of little pansies. I'm stopping. I keep saying that, don't I? <laughs> and then I do more and more. All right, that's it. Now, I think I'm going to let this go. And then the next one, I'm going to try different colors, but on a canvas with no paint and see what the difference is. Okay, I'm going to hold this up. I don't think I need to torch it, but I could see if there's any bubbles. Not too many. I think I want to go over that one. It's showing a lot of canvas through there. to the end there perfect all right I'm gonna hold this up and there you go how's that cute little pansies all over the place all right well thanks for watching and come back to Carol's art room have a good day and there will be dried results at the end as usual Please subscribe and like and comment. Thanks. Bye. Here's the dry results of my pansies. I call them. I think it turned out pretty good. Nice and smooth. This is the one that had the layer of white paint underneath. Very thin layer though. Came out really good. I'm happy with it. And there you go. Come back soon. Bye-bye.